On this episode of Hack 5, we're gonna find out just how an evil neighbor could hack into your Wi-Fi to cause chaos and what you can do to stop them. In 2011, a man named Barry Ardolf launched a vendetta against his neighbors by hacking into their Wi-Fi network and framing them for an increasingly bizarre series of crimes. Barry used a free and easy to use tool called Aircrack NG to learn the password of his neighbors. And once he gained access, sent threatening emails to his coworkers, including and up to sending a threatening email to our precious vice president of these United States. This just goes to show how high the stakes really are for stopping a malicious neighbor from breaking into your home Wi-Fi network. So let's find out. Could this really happen to you? And if so, what can you do to fight back? We all know the benefits of using Wi-Fi, smaller devices, and no need to get tangled up in ethernet cables just to get a connection. But there is one major downside to blasting all of your data over radio waves. Anybody who's in range can potentially connect to your Wi-Fi network. For over a hundred years, mankind has sent radio signals into the air containing information, and your home router isn't much different. Now, hopefully, your home router contains multiple antennas that send the signal across your house to allow devices to connect. Now, to maximize convenience, router manufacturers typically set the signal to the absolute highest allowable legal limit. This is to make sure that anybody can connect who wants to, but unfortunately, with the clear line of sight, an attacker could potentially violate your Wi-Fi network from up to a mile away. Ugh. When confronted with the possibility of a Wi-Fi break-in, most people have the same response. What's the worst that could really happen? And if someone just is stealing my bandwidth, is that really so bad? Well, obviously it's bad for someone to steal your hard-earned internet connection, but an evil neighbor can use that connection for much, much worse things than simply playing Roblox long into the night. Once an evil neighbor breaks into your home internet connection, they basically own it. They can control what you see on the internet and do all sorts of bad things from your home internet connection. Hackers who have gained access to your home Wi-Fi connection are able to access your devices as well, doing things like turning off internet connected security cameras. They can also see your internet browsing in real time, even if you're using a private window, so they can invade your privacy and know exactly what it is that you're doing. Even worse, they can use your internet connection for criminal activities, or even make money by selling to other criminals on the internet as a VPN to connect to to do things like run stolen credit cards or other nefarious activities. So how do you know if your home Wi-Fi network is under attack? Well, one way of figuring out if an evil neighbor is preventing your Wi-Fi devices from connecting to your home network is the DOTH detector. This device will actually scan the Wi-Fi spectrum looking for large amounts of deauthentication packets and will allow you to discover if someone is basically telling your devices to disconnect from the network over and over again. When a hacker kicks your devices off of your Wi-Fi network, they also can intercept a piece of information called a handshake, which allows them to try to crack your Wi-Fi password. Or they can just keep sending deauthentication packets over and over and effectively block any devices from connecting to your Wi-Fi network. Here, we load the DAW detector firmware on this D1 mini microcontroller, and after slapping on a couple of LEDs, we're ready to start detecting any evil neighbors attacking our Wi-Fi network. If you're interested in catching evil neighbors hacking into your Wi-Fi network and disabling your devices, then this is an open source and free project you can download at the link below, and the hardware is really cheap as well. Now that we know that our Wi-Fi network is under attack, we need to figure out just how far the attackers have gotten. Are they on the outside just throwing rocks at our network or have they actually gotten our Wi-Fi password and broken in? In order to find this out, we'll need to download Fing, a free Wi-Fi network scanner that will allow us to find out what devices are connected and figure out if any are connected that shouldn't be. Once you download Fing on your computer or smartphone, you can use it to identify lurking devices that you don't recognize. If you find something truly suspicious, then you may have found evidence of a Wi-Fi break-in. Of course, if you find a Linux computer, then it's probably some hacker somewhere sitting in the back of a car hacking your Wi-Fi network. When a hacker breaks into your Wi-Fi network, one of the many things they can start to do is redirect your network traffic to phishing pages. No, not Bass Pro Shop, the bad kind of phishing pages. 
these phishing pages may look like your bank's website, a social media login, or a password manager login, but in reality, they're fake websites set up by the hacker to capture your credentials and hack you even further. To identify if this is happening, we'll need to use a network monitoring program called Wireshark. Wireshark is able to see evidence that someone has broken into your network and is doing things like ARP spoofing. Here, we see a flood of ARP messages indicating that someone is pretending to be the router on our network in order to manipulate traffic. A similar kind of attack is a man-in-the-middle attack, where an attacker will create a Wi-Fi network with the same name as your network operating on a different channel. This often will confuse devices into accidentally connecting to the malicious network, and this can allow the hacker to do all sorts of bad things. Steal passwords, install malware, it can get really bad. Now, fortunately, we can detect this behavior with Kismet. Kismet allows us to look for suspicious behavior and identify when it's happening to see maybe if someone nearby is executing a man-in-the-middle attack against you. Now, fortunately, we caught this hacker before they could do any damage, and they won't be able to get away with whatever they were trying to do. So you've detected that your Wi-Fi network is under attack, but the hacker is still going after your network. What do you do now? Well, just like the hacker used Wi-Fi signals to go after you, you can use Wi-Fi signals to go after them too. The Andromeda Wi-Fi Deauthor is a tool that can be used to track down the source of a device that's attacking a Wi-Fi network. By attaching a directional antenna, you can easily locate the source of any Wi-Fi transmitting device. To use the Andromeda Deauthor, just plug it into a computer, open the Hunator serial monitor, and scan for the hacker's device. Once we locate it, we can begin scanning the signal strength and monitor as we move our directional antenna around. Pay close attention to the signal strength because as soon as we point our directional antenna right at the source, we should see a big jump in signal. Since this highly directional antenna only sends Wi-Fi signals in a very narrow angle, it should be relatively easy to sweep around and locate the device that's attacking your Wi-Fi network. When you finally track down the person who's been attacking your network, who knows what you'll find? It could be some sketchy hacker sitting in the back of a sedan hacking you from the street. It could be a plumbing van that is actually full of FBI agents, or of course, it could just be that angry neighbor who's still mad at you for not shoveling your side of the sidewalk. No matter who is going after your Wi-Fi network, there's a couple simple things you can do to prevent hackers from breaking into your Wi-Fi network. The first and easiest thing you can do is set a long, secure, and random password to make sure that it's not easy to guess with a dictionary or brute force attack. It's also smart to occasionally change this password at least once a year or maybe every couple of months if you give it out frequently. The next step you can take is logging into your router and changing your Wi-Fi security settings to use something strong like WPA2 or when it's available, WPA3. WPA3 also comes with built-in protection against denial of service attacks, like the one we demonstrated. So once it's available, you'll definitely want to switch. If you have sensitive devices on your network like security cameras or other IoT devices, you may want to consider putting them on a virtual network that allows you to segment them away from other devices. This means that even if a hacker manages to break into one of your IoT devices or otherwise manipulate it, they won't be able to get into your main network and it will be more difficult to do things like attack your router. Another thing you can do if you're worried about your neighbor spying on your connection is just decrease the power of your Wi-Fi settings. Most routers have this set to max to make sure that they have the best possible reception, but this can enable people to read your Wi-Fi traffic from up to a mile away. You can usually safely turn this down without suffering any consequences, although some people may complain about the loss in signal. Now, if you have a computer lying around collecting dust, you can run Wireshark or another intrusion detection software on it to look for suspicious activity. If you don't have a piece of hardware lying around, there's also some router settings which will enable you to look for suspicious behavior by default. If an evil neighbor starts targeting your Wi-Fi network, just remember you can use these techniques to detect and stop the attack. Once you know that you're under attack, you can also use signal strength to track down the malicious device and figure out who it is. Once you know who it is, it's up to you to decide what justice looks like. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.
But there are downsides to broadcasting your information out over the air. Uh, I 